Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a group by Newstream that is two weeks in the making. See quite a few people joining in already. Regular people, Arsawil, Ira, Datimo Punkshu, FitLab, CP the Brick, Hello Manless, Vulcan Keys, FitLab, Busy Timmy, DJ Ben, Whale Mingo, Big Walrus, Gantz, who else is here? Mantis, Cloudy Yak. Thanks guys for joining in so early. There we go. All right. For all of you guys joining in for the first time, this is a weekly new stream covering all mechanical keyboard related group buys starting from tonight, which is June 26th, all the way till Saturday, which is July 2nd. So anytime, anything during this seven day time period will be covered or as many as I can find. If you do want to know what I've already talked about in this episode, make sure you hit up the GB list command. I'll be updating that Google sheet um, as the stream goes on. So pay attention to that. Check out all the links over there. As usual, I like to start off with key sets. The very first one is KDS Solarize Dark. Um, Solarize Dark is actually one of my favorite colorways. Um, it is also, it's based on an IDE theme, which is a theme that I also use. But yeah, you can pick this up for 65 bucks for the base kit covering pretty much up to full size. And you also have colorized modifiers for 30 bucks. All in all, you can buy this whole kit for about 95 bucks. And it has an ETA of this year, Q3 2022. Yeah, this is a PBT Solarized Dark. How good is KDS? I'm only aware of one other KDS set and that was the, it was the transmutation set. So I have no personal experience with it. And I, I believe this is the only, this is only the second KDS set. For like 65 bucks for a base set, this, this is not bad at all. Um, obviously all of these are, are just renders. We don't have actual pictures of what the set would look like yet. So hopefully it looks as good as the renders. This is a set going all in for 95 bucks expiring tomorrow. So if you're interested in a PBT Solarize Dark Cherry Profile PBT, check it out. So this next one is a DCS set. This one is DCS Windbreaker, expiring on the 30th. <coughs> um, starting off with the base kit, 125 bucks. This is only TKL supporting with the common layouts in between. You've also got, um, let's see what this, novelties, numpads, and space bars. Um, when I first talked about this set about a month ago, I said this was way too bright for me. Like I thought, thought that it was cute, but at the same time, it's it's not a set that I would like. It's too bright, too too many competing colors in my opinion. But yeah, um, this one has a estimated delivery date of Q3 2023. Definitely definitely cute. If I had like a bright colored board, I think I I would consider this. It's like neon bar, <laughs> yeah. The estimated shipping Q3 2023. But yeah, check it out if you guys are are interested. You have until Thursday to make up your mind. Also expiring on, on the 30th, this one is a wine themed set. GMK Bordeaux. I think when I first talked about this, I was like, this doesn't really remind me of Bordeaux to be honest. But yeah, starting off 135 bucks, you get a full size supporting base kit. Um, you also have alphas, novelties, you know, all that stuff. Um, space bars, a couple dust mats available, a wine stain one, which I actually really like. You have a fair at the chateau, a couple artisans. Each of these artisans are like running like 40 to 50 bucks. But the one that is truly expensive, check it out guys. If you want these um, Rosewood Artisan Space Bars that have a fancy design on it, each of these are $95. There it is, I guess that's a better picture of all of them right there. And ma mainly because of those Space Bars, if you wanted to jump all in on this, you're looking at a roughly $916 to buy all the kits, all all the artisans, all the desk mats. 
So yeah, since this is a GMK set, we are looking at a Q4 2023 delivery. So delayed and fairly expensive. Check it out before Thursday. 135 base, 916 all, all in, um, ETA Q4 2023. There you go, this one is from a new keycap manufacturer that's been, it's been making great waves actually. This one is PBT Fans Basin, all the way on KBD Fans. This is their, I was going to say this is their PBT lineup, but no, they have PBT Fans is just a manufacturer, but they make both ABS and PBT Cherry Profile keycap. So it's, don't assume it's all PBT, right? It's, it's, it's kind of like Enjoy PBT. Enjoy, Enjoy PBT has an ABS line as well. But yeah, starting at 110 bucks, you have a, a blue base kit that's all the way up to TKL. You can actually choose two different base kits. One with Blue Legends, the Adriatic base, and one with Green Legends, which is the regular base. And of course, you've got mods that support both base kits. 40s, International, let's see what else, Numpads, Space Bars, and two dust mats. But yeah, this one is runs until the 30th. Estimated shipping date three months after the group by end. So that's that puts us at September, September of this year. Uh, this is a PBT material cherry profile key set, and it's double shot, double shot PBT. Check it out, guys. Look at that here. Let's look at some of these renders. I'm normally not a fan of like key sets that like have have a gradient but this one's kind of growing on me I've actually been staring staring at this for a while wondering if I should buy it but yeah 110 for the base to go all in buying all of these kits both base kits all the dust mats um, you're looking at 600 bucks 600 bucks to go all in with a September delivery all right this is the last set that is expiring on the 30th but yeah this next set is DMK adventurer um, this is the last key set that I know of that's expiring on the 30th. This one's a little interesting. Um, they do give you um, several base kits that you can choose from. So you've got the Base Pro 2, Base Pro 3. But I would actually recommend going for the all-in-one because you'll get all the novelties, both sets of alphas, and a couple of the accented colors as well for 220 Unfortunately, the all-in-one does not have any of these novelties or these mouse pads. So yeah, if you were to actually go all-in on this. Okay, so base is 115 To go all-in, you're looking at about $323. Not too much of a wait time at all. And people have been saying that the DMK stuff is pretty good. I I've been curious, but nothing's really caught my eye so to speak so to speak but but yeah check this out this is my the last key set that expires on the 30th base of 115 and full going all in for about 323 dollars and the last key set that is expiring this week expires on friday this one has been a extremely popular set here we go. This one has been a very, very popular set. This is GMK Micklin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. But yeah, check it out, guys. For $99, you get a full-size supporting base kit with legends of alternating colors. And if you, if you don't like that, you can also get basically just the mods having different colors. Also for $99, you also have your option for space bars novelties and of course a hibby artisan so when i first talked about the set i explained that this one is like my favorite part of this was going to be this See that look at that that is just so detailed and so colorful see that look at that yeah generally i'm not a fan of these colors but the way that it comes together in this set has really made me want it, you know. 
Um, this is a GMK set, so do expect it to be delivered in Q3 of 2023. So yeah, um, 99 for the base kit, $300 to go all in buying both base kits, space bars, novelties, and the Hibby Artisan. Let's see, there's, there's even a NK65 Miklan edition. Very pretty. Oh, look at those switches. That's really neat. I love how they did it this way. Very cool. There's also skulls. You can do light and dark. Very cool. I think I might just get these. These are cool. These are so cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I'll go with the... Uh, I like them both. I like them both. And yeah, tw 20 bucks is not a bad deal. Desk pads. Dude, this one's the Floravella for 17 and the El Camino for 17 I think I like the El Camino better. The specification. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's the typical desk mat size. Okay. Well, yeah, if you guys are interested, this is expiring on Friday, July 1st. So as far as I know, those are the the, the six key sets that are expiring this week. Just to do, do a quick recap. Here we go. This is KDS Solarize Dark, um, DCS Windbreaker, GMK Bordeaux, KBD Fans, or PBT Fans Basin, and... DMK Adventurer, and last but not the least, GMK Miklan. Out of these six key sets, which ones are you guys most interested in? Let's see, Bree says, I'm going to be some hella last minute budgeting this month because of Bordeaux. Oh boy. Let's see, Miklan, Miklan, Miklan. DMK Adventurer. I was a Solarized Dark, yeah. Yeah, I think Miklan is probably the most the the most popular set that's ending this week. Um, if it were me though, out out of these six, the one that really interests me the most, like I'm gonna have to agree with Iowa here, but Solarized Dark is very near and dear to my heart. So if I were to buy any set this week, it would most likely be KDS Solarized Dark. Let's let's move on to keyboard. We've got four keyboards expiring this week. The very first one is the Block 667 Round 2. This one expires on, on, on the 28th and starts off at 160 bucks. Of course, if you go for the E-White, it's an additional $5. You know, this is another Bacaneco type of board. You based on the open source design of the Bacaneco, the Block 67 makes a few key improvements. Internal dimensions are tweaked for better acoustics. Um, PCB changed to multi layout and hot swap, and front front height adjusted to 17 millimeters. So yeah, just a just a few updates. Um, whether or not they will be to your preference remains to be seen. But yeah, if you've seen a Bacaneco, you've pretty much seen this. They all kind of look the same, you know. It's got the daughter board, center mounted USB, all that good stuff. But yeah, this guy expires on the 28th, delivery Q4 of this year. So check it out. Next up is a board that I actually talked about on in one of my interest checks videos. Uh, at the time that I talked about it, I said that this was a very novel concept. It provided gasket mount at such an affordable price. Of course, since I've said that, we've had a bunch of other boards that have come out at that same competing price point. So what I'm talking about is the Han 60. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually kind of an in-stock sale as well. For 170 bucks, you can choose a black, gray, blue. Actually, blue is already sold out. And so is rose, rose gold. So I guess it's only black and gray that's available for 170 bucks. A um, couple things here. Affordable gasket mount keyboard with striking design. 7 degree typing angle. Um... Oh, it comes with a couple accessories, plate foam, case foam, switch foam, gasket strips, case feet, and, and hardware. You can choose your plate, polycarb, FR4, or aluminum, and PCB is, sold, is solderable. Um, 
When I talked about this board during my interest check video, what caught my eye on it was not necessarily like the design. If you look at it, it's not it's not really groundbreaking, right? What caught my eye was Han. Um, he got really into the hobby and he wanted to make his own board. So he has no experience making his own board, right? So he learned how to do it himself. He learned to do the the um, CAD. He learned to do the PCB design. He learned to do the software. He learned all of that. And this is the final result. It's like this This really impressed me. Like you, you can love a hobby so much that it fuels your um, desire to learn how to do things. And I'm like, wow, that's that's just amazing. Helicopter said, that's a pedal. Exactly. Like this is like him loving the hobby so much, wanting to make his own board that he's like, I'm going to build it from the ground up. There we go. It's like Big Lore says the man reinvented the wheel. <laughs> kind of, but you know, like I've been in this hobby since, wow, since like 2015, 2016. I don't know PCB design. I don't know CAD, right? You know, and I've been at this for quite some time. This guy actually put his head down and was like, I'm gonna learn this so I can make what I want. Right, and to me, that's just impressive. That's very impressive. Is the board itself impressive? Uh, I'd say the effort that went into it is impressive, but the board itself, like I said earlier, um, since I last talked about this, there have been other there there have been other designs that are in the same competing price point. Like one one board that I can think of recently is the QK65, right? The QK65 is a 65% gasket mount, and I think it was like a 160 bucks as well, right? And it, and it even had like a brass weight on it. So yeah. But yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. Um, expires, or I guess the in-stock buy expires on the 30th. Here we go. Next up. Next up is a 40%. This is the Mochi 40 kit. Going for $200 to $259. Bucks. Well, check it out, guys. Here. Can I expand it? There we go. Look at it. 40% board with rotary encoder. Very cute. <coughs> Look at that. Very pretty. So, so you can choose quite a few different colors here. You can choose butterfly tea, matcha, plain, red bean, strawberry, taro, water drop. Um, you can even choose your microcontroller. Oh, it's a, you can choose between an Elite C or a nice Nano if you want to do Bluetooth. And apparently there's also an OLED. Very nice. But you can do a 128 by 64 or 128 by 32. Plate material, you can do FR4, PC, palm, aluminum, brass, or plateless. And JSC connector for the nice nano battery. Not that I'm more reading part rate, thank you. Yeah, um, I'm not a big fan of 40%. I like how they look, but I've never really liked how they typed. But this one, I can definitely appreciate this, especially with the rotary encoder and that cute OLED. See, this one has a delivery date of Q1 2023. I guess that's eight months from now. Eight, eight months from when the group buy expires. And the group buy expires on July 4th. Or July 1st, I mean. Alright, let's see. Next board, or rather the last board that I know of that's expiring is also expiring on the first. Here we go. This is the Pegasus, another 40%. This time it is about $100 more expensive at 350 bucks. Check it out, comes with the fancy brass weight with a Pegasus on it. Look at that. Very pretty. I guess these are the these, those those were the colors that it was available in. Very nice. 
let's see, let's talk about some of the specs. Um, so this uses a C3 unified daughter board, optional rotary encoder support. What else? 12.75U um, WKL layout with 0.75U blockers and heavily inspired by the upper bezel low lift found in TX series boards. Interesting. I made this comment when I first talked about this board, but usually when, when there's a daughter board, such as the C3 daughter board that you're seeing here, it's usually placed in the middle. This is one of the few boards that I've seen it placed off to the side. So yeah, I thought this was very unique. Very unique. You have a picture of a PCB. Nice flex cut down the middle there. You can see that there are two positions for the rotary encoder knob. You can choose which one you want to do. Cool. See plate, top, bottom. Very cool. Little exploded layout of how everything comes together. Yeah, this is also a gasket mounted board, guys. Pegasus design specifications. Very cool. Let's see. So yeah, 350 bucks. Estimated delivery date of October 2022, which, keep in mind, the Mochi 40, which I just talked about, has a delivery date of Q1 of next year, 2023. This one has a delivery date of October of this year, 2022. So more, more, more expensive, a little bit more complicated, but delivering at a sooner time. Yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. Expiring on the 1st, July 1st. There we go. See, that, those were the only four boards I know of that are expiring this week. Just as a quick recap, that's the Block 67, a Bakaneko-like board, the Han 60, the Mochi 40, and the Pegasus. Um, if you were to join in on every single group buy I just talked about, everything that's ending this week from Sunday to Saturday, buying all of the base kits in every key set with the Artisans, Dustmat, collaborations, all that, buying the premium options of every keyboard, going for the E-White and all that. Um, you're looking at a grand total this week. Let's see. The most expensive group buy this week was definitely GMK Bordeaux and PBD Fans Basin. Those were the two most expensive ones. That probably skewed that result that, that we have right now. But to go all in, you're looking at spending $3,393. $3,393. Keep in mind, this does not include shipping, taxes, or customs fees. So in reality, this is probably most likely over $4,000. So $3,393. Whew. Like, I do expect end of the end of the month to be more expensive, so I was not surprised that we would actually hit this number. $3,393. <laughs> let's talk about starting group buys. So, let's see, the first item that's starting is actually on the 1st, on Friday. <coughs> this one's going from July 1st till August 5th. Here we go. This is Milky Way mango key lime so here we go it's based on this one <laughs> the cheesecake <coughs> here we go base kit base kit actually starts at 90 dollars and this one this one kind of reminds me of feng li su with a little brighter yellow to be to be honest but yeah um TKL supporting base kit starting at 90 bucks. This is PBT Cherry Profile. So you've got a numpad kit. You've got a space bar kit. 40s kit. International kit. A couple of renders right here. It looks like the poor man's phony so Yeah, I know, right? That's what I thought as well. But, you know, Fong Li Su is supposed to be delivered in 
like Q3, Q4, 2023, right? This one, I think, I think this one has a delivery date of Q1, 2023. So six months earlier, half a year earlier. You know? Helicopter says, I miss Fungi Suits. I'm getting this for my birthday. It's also a lot cheaper. Like buying all of the kits, right? Base kit, numpad, spacebar, 40s, and international kit sets you back $183, and the base kit is 90 bucks. So overall, cheaper and more affordable than GMK Fengli Su, and also arrives faster. Look at that. Let's see, vendors are going to be the right PC. Oh, right PC, I think also did, I bought something from them before. I think it was a uh, EPBT Timeless. That's what I bought from the right PC. But yeah, it's gonna be sold on the right PC, Kanata Keys, Eloquent Kick, Clicks, uh, Milkway Keys, Quirty, Quirty Cop, Daily Clack, Sax KB and Mechaland. There we go, group by date from July 1st till August 5th. Pricing is, is as follows. Yeah, fair, fairly affordable. A couple collabs and all that. Very cool. Yeah, I think, no, I already have Feng Li Su coming, so. <coughs> but having a PBT yellow set, I don't think I, I have a PBT yellow set quite yet. So, I, I might pick this up. We'll see. It's like... I know, it, there's, there's something about it that I don't like. This, despite me really liking yellow, there's something about it that I'm not 100% happy with. I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's a Legends. Like, the Legends, like the yellow... And the cream on the alphas doesn't doesn't look very good to me. And white on yellow doesn't look very, very good to me either. Fungli Sue Legends are better. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's too bright to see. Yeah, it, it feels like... To me, it seems like a very cheap set. Like... Like something that you would pick up on AliExpress. That's the vibe that I'm getting off of it, to be honest. Like 90 bucks for a Milky Way set, sure, it's the Milky Way quality. But I feel like I'd see this set on AliExpress for 40 bucks. Right? So I'm kinda... That's, that's really what's bothering me about this. The mods are a nice color, but the legends definitely throw me off. Yeah. It's like, I really like the yellow, but it's just hard to see. It's hard to see. Or, like, even on the renders, like, that's... We'll see how I feel about it come, come like, August 5th, right? Got an entire month to, like, decide. So we'll see. The background color they used is not helping at all. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Maybe if they had picked a darker color, that would probably help. Maybe the samples look amazing. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, check it out if you guys are um, interested. This one is starting on the 1st, running through August 5th. Base kit starting at 90 bucks. Buying all of the kits, $183. All right, let's talk about the next set. The next set that is starting is also starting on the first. This one is this one is from a keycap manufacturer that I've never heard of actually. Here, this one is from a keycap manufacturer called IV. It's called IV Works, and it is a rerun of a GMK set that Tyson also made. This is IV Ashes. So if you've seen Ashes before, it looks like that. 
except this is going to be in PBT. I've, I've never really heard of Ivy Works before, so I don't, I don't have any feel in terms of what their quality is or anything like that. But it looks pretty good. Um, I had originally wanted to get GMK Ashes so that I could put it on my um, Volcano 660, but at the time, you know, just money didn't work out then. This might be a good one to, to, to go for, because like Milky Way, their prices are very affordable. You have a base kit. Let's see, where's that base kit? The key set's $89.99. Desk pad is $22.49. Um, you also have switches, 36 per pack, going for $21.59, and metal artisans for $35.99. Um, they do plan on going in, in stock, and the prices do go up a little bit. Not too much, though. So if you're interested in this, definitely go for the GB promotional price. Yeah, I don't really have any experience with, like, Ivy Works key, key sets. But just on a quick glance here, I'm not... I'm not seeing anything bad. Like, I, I, I'm i a big fan of nice PBT and like Canon cap stuff. So as long as it's that quality, I'm fine with it. You know? And this, just from a cursory look, looks to be similar. Are these renders or actual photos? These are final proto samples. Metal Arsons, cool. Bonfire, Humanity, very nice. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. I'm not seeing anything amiss here. <coughs> You'll wait for the in stock release. My money's on Micklin already. Yeah, in stock, if you wait for the in stock. Brings up the price by 10 bucks, which all things considered isn't too too big of a jump. Um, looks like looks like it'll be available on Death Hero, My Keyboard Prototypist, Z Frontier, Island KB, Base Keys, and Switch Keys. So out of these two key sets that, that that we just talked about, these are the only two key sets that are starting this week. Um, out of these two. Which ones are you guys most interested in? Really curious to see if you guys like Ashes or Mango Key Lime. Let's see, Ashes, Ashes, Ashes. Ashes for sure. I love the present color. Ashes. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with the majority of you guys. Um, like I said, as much as I like yellow, this set is not doing it for me. But Ashes... Was really sad to have missed out on the GMK, but you know, I'm fine with this. <laughs> fine with this. Like, look, it's a it's a PBT set, thick PBT, 1.5 millimeters die sub legends, and yeah, and it's a it's it's not a clone of a GMK set. This is actually a basically just a PBT version of an existing set. So yeah. Check it out if you guys are interested. This one is running throughout the entire month of, of July, from July 1st all the way till July 31st. Check it out, check it out. So I'm curious how the switches sound. I'm curious too, let's see. Let's go look at a couple more details about that. Um, I, think, I think it's a long stem switch. Yeah, more. Looks like a dual stage spring as well. <coughs> Ultra smooth travel, new thick pole linear stem. Thick pole. Huh. For increased feedback without harsh bottom out. Interesting. Does he say who makes these? Anyway, check it out if you guys have time. As far as I know, those are the only starting group buys of the of the week. Um, did not find any keyboards either, but I guess this is the perfect time to move into the audience group buy section. So yeah, same rules apply. If you notice that I missed something this week that's either starting or ending and is a group buy, 
um, definitely hit me up over here. You can use the whisper command to let me know what I've missed. Here, I'm doing the audience group by command right here. Please, please, please send me a link. Send me some context, some start end dates, anything to, to pay attention to. But please keep it specific to group buys and within this week. So yeah, I will keep this open for a few minutes. And while you guys send me stuff, I'm gonna grab myself a little bit more water. It's, it's getting harder and, and, and like harder to talk. <laughs> And Thixias, I recently recovered from COVID and I'm still coughing from it. Um, this is the, only the second day in which I have regained my voice. Let's see, I have got one person says, sending me stuff. I guess we can start from there. This is the 21KB. Okay. There we go. According to Quackenwise, pre-order for round four of their XMI keycaps is ending this week. Um, is there an actual date for XMI? Um, June 30th. There we go. Let's see, is there... Is it all of these that are expiring? Let's go pick on this guy right here. Perfect. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let me just here. Let's put this in chat right there. All right. Okay. So yeah, these are some very decently priced and well manufactured PBT keycaps. Um, they are more on the vintage aesthetic. As you guys can see from here, like they're all just beige sets, but you do have your choice of different sub legends. So you've got, let's see, the one that I would most likely use is probably going to be the Zhu Ying, right, right here, or even maybe the Chinese ones. Very cool. So that, yeah, this one, this one reminds me of a, of keyboards that I used to type on back when I was in school. Back, back when I was in like high school. Oh, that's interesting. So you've also got, what's, got Saw, Classic Keycap Set, Cyrillic, ASCII, Thai, Ruby. Very cool. Interesting, so yeah. Um, they don't, they obviously don't support every language, but check it out. Expires on the 30th, according to Kraken Weiss. Thank you very much, Kraken Weiss. According to Rusty Panda TV, this is a one one by one artisan case. Group buy runs from July 1st till the 14th. There we go. It's called the Costca. The 6061 anodized aluminum available in three colors holds a single artisan keycap 30 degree viewing angle going for 25 bucks plus shipping approximately ten dollars for us canada ships from canada okay I kind of wish, like, not that I'm into artisans and stuff, but I figure people would want to store more artisans than one, but what do I know? Very interesting. Here, let me put this into the GB list. Cool, cool, cool. This is the ultimate artisan show off. And thank you very much, Rusty Panda. Let's see, we'll we'll keep this open for another couple minutes. All right, I'm not seeing anyone send me stuff anymore, so I think 
think we got most of everything. Fingers crossed. I guess we'll find out as I, when I finally post this video on. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens on Tuesday. I might find other, other things by Tuesday. But yeah, thanks guys for joining in. I know it's been two weeks since my last group by new stream, so I appreciate everyone joining in at this late hour. So yeah, um, hope you have a good start to your week. This video will be posted on YouTube by Tuesday morning. My next, let's see, my next stream, I'm, I'm, I, I am still recovering, so I'm trying not to do long streams or frequent streams, but I think my next stream is gonna be this Thursday. Over the two week period where I was in bed, recovering from COVID, I did get quite a bunch of stuff in the mail. So I figure, no Thursday. Thursday, I should be completely healed from this coughing. So fingers crossed, I'll do an, an unboxing that day. So yeah, thanks guys for joining in. And I guess I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye everyone, and have a good start to your week.